It takes blood, sweat, and tears to successfully run a business, but most business owners will probably tell you the greater the effort, the sweeter the reward. Our next guest says that the same logic should apply to their retirement. Jim Hefner is Carolina's retirement coach, and Jim joins us every Wednesday to help us get financially fit. We are delighted to welcome Jim Indeed. to Charlotte today. Good morning to you, sir. How are you? Good morning. I'm great. How are you? Great. Thank you. Okay, a lot of our viewers or their spouses are small business owners. What do you want them to know specifically about retirement? Well, uh, most business owners are so focused on growing the business, they neglect themselves and somehow don't plan for their own retirement. Mm -hmm. So. You know, they may be taking a lot of money out of the business um, and they might be setting up a 401k or a cash balance plan or even a, 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 a SEP or some sort of retirement plan. But they leave so many tax reduction and wealth creation strategies on the table. Mm -hmm. So what, what I, whether you're working out of your home or have a huge business complex, uh, the reality is you can catch up for all that planning you didn't do. Um, and you can tax defer as much as you want, grow it tax free as long as you want, and then take that money out tax free in the end, if you have the right plan. The problem is you have to go find that advisor who has those plans. Mm -hmm. Okay, now you own your own business. Now, what yes. are some of the challenges that most small business owners will face? Well, I own my own business most of my life. Um, I have, uh, as a financial planner, a number of clients for business owners. Uh, and I've studied hundreds of small business startups that became very successful companies. Okay. And what I see consistently is that plan A never works. <laughs> <laughs> you read about that. It's always plan B or C, right? And if success does come, it's usually after years of struggle. Mm -hmm. So imagine you own a business and you've struggled for years and finally you, it's really working, right? The problem is you're close to retirement. Say you're making a million dollars a year now. Okay. Well, now he can start putting money away for retirement. The problem is the IRS says, send me 500000 each year. That's right. So, so it makes it very tough to do that. What people have to know is that there are very powerful plans to, to let you tax defer all that million dollars that you want to, grow it tax-free, spend it tax-free. And again, you talk about, though, finding the right person to help you and who has that plan and can help you devise that plan. And speaking from your own personal experience, you, you really can help people with this. Well, absolutely. You know, it's funny that, that uh, people think that uh, their CPA handles all this. In any sport or activity, there's one or two really great tennis players or runners or basketball mm -hmm. players. The rest of us aren't that good. So to expect that every CPA has all the answers is probably not right. Mm, that makes sense. Okay, now once a business owner does retire, Jim, they also have to think about what happens to their business. That's right, exactly. So ideally you can sell the business or perhaps you'll choose to uh, run it and hire someone or hire your children to run the business for you or, or you might close it down. Well, here are the mistakes that I see most commonly. People will sell their businesses and pay a huge capital gains tax mm. that they otherwise would not have to pay. Have to. Mm -hmm. right? So that's optional if you have good planning. Another uh, situation is that people will hire their children to run the business, but they have no way to ensure that investment they have in the business and the income they expect to get out of that for the rest of their lives or to avoid the estate tax when they pass away. Estate, estate taxes can typically cause the, the sale of the business, the destruction of the business to pay the estate tax. Mm. We want to defend against all that. Mm -hmm. So what do, you, what do you do? So, I mean, like, th those are some, some daunting things. When, when you get ready to retire and you're going to do your business, is it one option that's better than another? Depends on your situation and your desires. Okay. Got to find a good planner and walk through what you want to have happen for the rest of your life. Well, if you or your spouse owns a business, it's time to get your retirement affairs in order. Jim and his team are making it easy for you to get started. They'll sit down with you and build a custom retirement plan free of charge. This is a full written plan built just for you and your business. This offer is good for the first five Charlotte Today viewers who call. You must have at least $500,000 in retirement savings to qualify for this. The number to call is 704 552-1230. It's right there on your screen, 704-552-1230. Call that number to claim your complimentary written retirement plan. You can also go to Jim's website for more information. It is hefnerfinancial.com, hefnerfinancial.com. Jim Hefner, as always, nice to see you. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. You, thank you so much. Thank you so much.